everyone. Uh, I'm Rita Gaiman and I'm an intuitive coach. This video is about ESFP personality types, extroverted, sensitive, feeler, perceiver. And I'm an INTJ. I'm an introverted, intuitive, thinker, uh, judger. So I'm the opposite of an ESFP. And I have many ESFP friends. And I love ESFPs. Um, they complement me perfectly in every way. Um, uh, ESFPs, they have, uh, ESFPs have a lot of wonderful things going for them. Uh, for example, uh, extroverted feelers are all community, very highly community-oriented people, uh, and people-oriented people. In fact, I would say that uh, while INTJs are probably the most individual-oriented people, um, I would say out of all the personality types, I would say that ESFPs are probably the most community and people-oriented people. Uh, ESFPs are the most outgoing, the most community-oriented, the most involved in their community and involved with other people. Uh, ESFPs, um, they gain a great deal of strength from other people because they're, as extroverts uh, and as feelers uh, with heart-based traits, their energy goes out to other people and they tend to love on other people. And when they're feeling weak, they simply draw from that bank and they and they seek out energy and good, good feelings from other people. Um, so introverts, their energy goes inward. And then when you're feeling weak as an introvert, you tend to get alone and draw from your bank of, of energy that you, that you put into yourself. So extroverts are the, are the opposite. Extroverts, um, they put energy out into other people, and they, their energy flows outward. And uh, when they're feeling weak, then they want to draw from their bank, and they want to draw from the people around them. And um, extroverted feelers are particularly this way because feelers are heart, have heart-based traits, uh, love, fairness, justness, justice, community-oriented uh, people. Um, feelers also have a very strong uh, emotional resistance to, people, to things because uh, because they use their emotional muscle on a regular basis as a dominant trait, um, they're resistant to um, feelers that are more are more resistant to um, emotional attacks from other people. It kind of it's like there's a big cushion around them that just kind of absorbs the shock of that. Uh, whereas thinkers, they don't have that. They don't exercise their emotional muscle as much, and so there's not as much of. Uh, they tend to kind of like turn off their emotions and not use them as much. And so, uh, and as a thinker, I can I can say this. Um, I can testify to that, um, but um, feelers have the ability to exercise their emotional muscle, and so <coughs> they're able to have this cushion around them that absorbs emotional shock and life shocks uh, much better than thinkers, whereas thinkers, they tend to not have that cushion around them, and so when a, a, a thinkers can be especially hurt by feelers, even when feelers just give them a little bit of a, just a little bit of a tapping, because um, they have nothing to absorb that shock, and so for a feeler to 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 attack a, a thinker in a light way, um, the thinker has no has no cushion around them, and so they they feel the full brunt of the of the shock. Whereas um, feelers, they they have all this cushion that absorb all the shock, and so it takes a lot to actually get get to them as a person. Um, so it's important to understand that as a uh, as ESFP, if you aren't an ESFP or if you're living with one. Uh, as EF ESFPs, these people are just, uh, or you, um, are just wonderful, wonderful people. You're very, you tend to be very outgoing, very warm, uh, heart-based, loving type of people. Um, uh, as, a, as sunsets, you tend to be uh, practical about your environment. You tend to uh, be able to uh, manipulate your environment in a, uh, the, you know, what you see, hear, touch, taste, and smell. You're able to manipulate your environment uh, the way you want it to be. Um, you, you may not, you, you know, in, in, intuition is your subdominant trait, so you're not as good with understanding energetic things, but because you have a heart-based trait, which is a, another esoteric trait, you're able to understand interactions between people and connections with, between people, and uh, you're, you're able to feel comfortable with connections between different people that don't necessarily agree. Um, as a perceiver, um, you have the ability to... Uh, to meet somebody several times before you form an, an opinion of them. Judges, they tend to form snap decisions about people. Uh, as, a perce as a perceiver, you're able to um, to work on life as a process that can be interrupted rather than as one big chunk that shouldn't be interrupted um, or, or schedule, you know, judges tend to schedule things in along either hour increments or project increments, uh, but perceivers tend to view life as, as along a process so they, they go through about it through a, a, a process type of way. And um, so as an ESFP, you have so many, uh, you have so many 
wonderful strength. Um, your only weakness seems to be uh, energetic fluctuations uh, because that's your subdominant trait. As an INTJ, I'm, I'm dominant in energetic uh, fluctuations, and so I'm not able to sympathize or empathize as much with you, um, but other ESFPs would be able to understand this. Uh, energetic fluctuations, uh, high energy uh, mixed with low energy, um, you know, up and down, or, or fast in, uh, or, or positive energy mixed with negative energy, and then positive energy again all in one day. Uh, these energetic fluctuations are probably the things that we I've seen weaken ESFPs the most. So all you have to do um, to strengthen yourself in that uh, as an ESFP, so that you become immune to even that one that one little thing, um, is simply um, is simply become more um, open to feeling the energy fluctuations. Just kind of get by yourself where you feel you feel like you're in a safe, warm environment, and then just kind of. Or, or if you're if you're more comfortable in a group, get into a group environment and simply just feel the energy fluctuations in the group. Just feel it in the group, and that will become that will help you become more immune to the to the energy around you. So um, to the energy fluctuations around you, and that will that will help exercise your your uh, intuition muscle, your intuition muscle, your solar plexus. And that will help you become more comfortable in those areas. All right, um, that's do I'm done now. Uh, as, a as ESFPs, you have a wonderful gifts, and you're the opposite of me. I'm an INTJ, and I, I just love all the ESFPs in my life. I think they complement me wonderfully, and we were able to form a unified whole. And uh, so I really love you guys, and I would love to hear your comments below. Please give me lots of love. I love you guys. Um, and please subscribe below, uh, and I hope to see you on the other side.